I've, I've worked in New York only twice, both times this year. Last spring I was here on a picture called Blindfold. Well, the film I'm working on now is called Seconds. It's certainly a, a different uh, type of picture and certainly a different role for me. It's almost a horror movie, certainly a suspenseful movie, and certainly very dramatic. Most of Seconds, a Paramount picture, was shot on location in Southern California. Several important scenes were photographed in New York City and Scarsdale, including the one Rock Hudson would appear in on this hot August day. Oh, with me and with the company shooting on this location, of course, the director, John Frankenheimer. All right, here we go, number one again. Eddie Lewis, the producer, and James Wong Howe, the cameraman. This is the first time I've worked with, uh, with John uh, Frankenheimer. I've looked, looked forward uh, for quite a while now uh, to making a picture with him. He's um, quite a marvelous director, I think. We arrive at the scene together, which makes me, the actor, feel not only like I'm performing, but that I'm contributing, which is a marvelous feeling to have. Seconds is the story of a middle-aged man who leaves his wife and family, completely changes his physical appearance, and begins life anew. A young man, but a man without a past. A man living in limbo. The man that I'm playing cannot adjust to his new surroundings. So he, he has to, he feels he must backtrack. He goes back to see his wife find out some clue into what what made him tick, because he really doesn't know himself. In the scene in the car, I say uh, that I want to go back. I don't want to be a young man. I want to be my own age. So I want to go back to the, the hospital or the company and get myself reborn again. To the onlooker, photographing a film sequence seems dull and repetitious. The brief action of walking from the house to the street was repeated time after time so it could be covered from a variety of angles. For the short scene inside the car, the automobile had to be rigged with camera mounts, first in front and then on each side, and the film action repeated for each camera setup. A single day's work which resulted in a few brief moments in the completed picture was all that was required of Rock Hudson in the New York locations. Was it worth bringing the high-priced star 3,000 miles for this short sequence? The company has been here shooting for a week. The scenes that they shot did not involve me. So it's much more uh, inexpensive to bring me to New York, shoot the scene here, and send me back than it is to take the whole company to the streets, any streets, say, in around Los Angeles with the whole company, and then go back to the studio, and then pack up and fly to New York. Furthermore, to duplicate uh, the Scarsdale area, I don't think one could in Los Angeles. John Frankenheimer is one of the new Hollywood film directors who goes out of his way to escape the confining walls of the sound stage. Most of Seconds, as most of Frankenheimer's other films, was shot on location. What's all this traveling like for the star raised in the relative comfort of the studio? Well, of course, uh, the disadvantage of going on a location, especially uh, here in a big city in New York, is that, first of all, you're not home. Uh, you live in a hotel. You're in a big city. You, there's a bustling, great big city. It's certainly different than Los Angeles. And from the hotel, one goes to various locations in and around the city of New York. The advantages are that you're away from home, and that you live in a hotel, and you're in a big city, and you get a bustling big city, and there's a lot to do and see. 